Okay, so welcome back. Um, we're going to start talking about setting up our ability to follow users. So as of now, I've kind of uh, forced the hand of following users. But in this set of videos, we're going to kind of talk about how we're going to start following users and letting users follow us. So we have to think about our user stories in this case the first one being that we want to request to follow users feeds so this is outside of our own of course um, we see someone that we're not currently following and we want to follow them we'll do this by selecting or pressing a button to request that user so in our last video i showed you how we just set up some um, a sale of suggested users and we're going to use that instead of building out the profiles because we've done that before but we're gonna use that button in order to actually request to follow the users that are found there. Um, another user story is that we're going to want to be able to approve people that request to follow us. So for this, I'm going to be creating another user. Um, I'll log into that user and then request my user. And we'll see how that looks um, on the request ease side of the table. Um, this will allow users to view, um, also being able to allow users to view all of their requests. So we want to be able to allow users to view our request and then allow a way for us to uh, view new users' feeds. All right, so how are we going to go about doing this? So the way this is gonna work is we're going to click a button to request to follow a user. This is going to have this user in our following queue as Pending. Um, pending means that we've requested the follow, but we haven't been accepted yet. So if the user is accepted, we want to update the value to true. So we're going to have two values here. So true means that we are following this user. And pending means that we requested to follow the user, but we have not yet gotten approved to follow the user. And I think that would be the clearest. And we'll talk about how our Firebase database will be set up to show this. The key will be, of course, the user ID, and then the value will be the result if we're pending, or we are truly following the user. We also need to have a way to show or to decline users. So we have the ability to say, yes, you can follow us, or no, you can't follow us. And we're gonna set that up as well. So let's look at our database to see what we have so far. Okay, so right now what we have is we have a very flat Firebase database. We have right under the main, we have a folder or a structure called following. In our following, it has all of our users. So this is our current user. And right now what it has is if our user has a follower, we have this their ID as both the key and the value. So this is basically saying that our user, that they're following her, which is her, and you, which is you. Now, can, storing this in two different places isn't really helping us any. So this is kind of what we're going to try to go towards, is instead, we're still going to be storing this user in our following, but instead, we're going to have their user ID as the key, and the value if they're either, we're truly following them, or we're pending a follow. So you can have this, whatever you want, but a way to distinguish between true and pending. And in this way, we can actually go through our following when we're trying to load. And as long as the value isn't pending, we can display that. So we're only gonna display values that have a, va uh, well, posts that have a value of true, because that means we're actually following them. Now, as far as the structure goes, so far our structure is pretty flat. So we have to think about, is this the best way we can do it? And what's another way and will it better serve our purposes? So let's look at another way we could possibly do this. Okay, so now let's think about another way we can do this. Another way we can do this is we can add the following folder onto our user. So this way our user is going to contain the email, profile photo, another uh, folder for following and all the values stored in there. Now it's best to kind of weigh these options and you know you could probably provide a really good use case for both. Um, 
for our top one, it keeps our values relatively flat. To get this information from our database, what we would be doing is we would create a reference to the following. So when we log in, we'll have our user's ID. Then with that user as user's ID, we would grab all of the people that they're following and display them in the profile. This could also be stored in a profile. So if you have another section called profile somewhere, you could probably store it there as well. In this case, we just have to dig from our following, from our, well, from the top following folder or structure to our user's ID. And then we would have a list of everyone they're following. Now, we have to think about when we need to update this. So say we want to unfollow. Now unfollowing would be the same thing. We would just go to the following to our user and then remove the following. Say that we deleted the user off of the, the, the user no longer wanted the app or they canceled their account. That will also be a pretty simple uh, delete because we know that it's following, we know it's user and we just delete everything in there. The benefit is, is that once we delete a user, if it's a folder underneath user, once we get rid of that, we're going to get rid of everything that's there. Now we have to remember, we have to decrement or remove our user from all of the places that they were following because they're no longer, it's no longer a count there, right? So we don't want to count these numbers or these ghost numbers. Now, whether you choose to have a flat, the top version, or to kind of do it nested within our user, it's up to you. Because I already have it set up very flat, I'm gonna go ahead and do it this way. I haven't got given it much thought outside of that, just a convenience thing. So it's gonna be really up to you. In our next video, what we're going to do is we're going to actually go ahead and update. We're gonna update this part where we're changing um, this item. So this value from true to false, and we're going to filter based on that. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and set this up, the action on the button to follow or set a field to pending. And of course, see it the other way around. Once we request, once someone's requested to follow us, then we're going to see what it looks like. So if this is something that you guys are interested in um, check out the next couple of videos I didn't want to go too long but I wanted to explain what I was going to do before doing it so that way we can all be on the same page if you guys have any questions comments or concerns uh, let me know this is our go plan and I will see you guys next time bye